Okay, so you've already wound your bobbin and now we're going to thread the machine. What you need to do is look at your bobbin and it needs to have the thread coming off the top left or it looks like a P. Okay, so when it looks like a P, you're ready to drop it in. All I did here was slide this black knob over to the right and it pops off the bobbin cover. I'm gonna lay my bobbin down into the bobbin case. I put my finger on the bobbin and there is a little slit right here in the metal. I'm gonna make sure my thread is right there and then I'm gonna slide it under that metal hook over to the left hand side and it'll make a little clicking sound. So now my bobbin is in place. Now I want my spool of thread back on the spool pin. I take the cap off, put the spool on the spool pin and put the cap back on. Then I'm gonna take my thread and this time I'm gonna go this direction behind the thread guide and I'm gonna follow this groove down around and there's an arrow showing you how to do this if you forget then I'm gonna go up now I'm on the right hand side of the thread take up lever I'm gonna go from the right back around to the left hand side I'm gonna put my thumb right here to hold the thread and then I'm gonna pull this thread tight and what that did is it went past a little spring and now it's in the eye of my thread take up lever it must be there in order for the tension to be correct on your machine so now that it's gone through the eye of your thread take up lever, I'm going to go back down and there's a hook right above your needle. I'm going to put the thread behind the hook and now I can put my needle or my thread through my needle front to back. Okay, and then I'm going to keep hold of the top thread, the thread coming from the needle. I'm going to turn my hand wheel toward me. And what that's going to do is that is going to pick up the bobbin thread and bring it from the bottom to the top. So I'm holding the top thread, turn the hand wheel toward me, and now my bobbin thread, it caught down there. You can see they're crossing. Now I'm just going to lift my top thread until that loop comes up to the top. One last thing, I'm going to lift up my presser foot and I'm gonna slide both the top and bottom threads underneath the presser foot and then I'm going to put my bobbin cover back on.